guys in today's video I'm going to be building a greenhouse in my backyard of my family hillside home now I didn't film a speed build on this house just because it was my first time building a hillside house and it took me a while to figure out how to do so I will be giving a tour later on but I guess this is kind of like a tour right now a little mini tour of the outside at first I wasn't gonna do all this back here you know what let me show you I'm going to show you in a different view so this is what my current backyard looks like right now I kind of extended the hillside a little bit further in the back so that we can have a backyard but because you cannot place a pool on the second floor, which kind of sucks, I was like, I kind of want a pool or like something to swim in instead of going to the beach. So I built this little lakeside area back here. I'm really proud of how it turned out. I've never built something like this before. As you can see, we have a mountain over there and a little campsite. And the stairs leads to this, I guess you would say like gigantic pond, small type of lake type of thing. And we made a little waterfall. And I have a little secret workplace in there, not like a workplace, but you know, like when you're working in a place where you can get your moods up, I built that in there. So like a little workstation, I guess you can say. And then over here we have a little campsite and then a little mountain. And I don't know what to put on the sides of my house. I don't really want to put like a bunch of trees. It's a lot of money and I feel like I kind of want to build like mountains around my house or something. I don't know. But yeah, that is just what it looks like. In the lake, I did like different levels. So I did shallow to medium to, you know, deep just to make it more realistic in a way because um, most lakes are not like the same level. So that is just a little tour of the backside of this family house. And I kind of want to build a greenhouse, but as you can see, I started building one earlier. And then I had a roof on top and then I realized I really wanted to build one that has like a sky roof or something. I've been seeing a lot of those um, type of photos on Instagram and I'm just like, how do you build that? That looks super cool. So today I'm going to try and attempt to build that and kind of just go with my gut on what I think on how they built it. So I think I know. Maybe, I don't know, I might have to look up a tutorial just to be sure if I'm like kind of stumped, but I'm going to delete this because I don't like how this turned out. I feel like I could do a better job. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I might just go for like a square shape. I'm not sure how I can do a sunroof if it's not like square, so we're just going to do one over here. Um, how do I want to do this? I, okay, so we're going to do something like this if we can do it like kind of slanted in a way. Okay, there we go. And, and there is our greenhouse. Okay, hopefully it looks okay. Okay, so first I'm going to build a floor on this. So where is my floor? Okay, here it is. Um, I'm gonna build a floor on this because I don't think it'll allow me to place down tables if there's no flooring, you know? It won't just like do floating tables like that. So I'm going to be using the glass tables today and it is this one right here okay um how do I want to do this okay I think I want to do it okay I need my advanced placement on for this obviously I was like why are the grids on it looks kind of weird and then I realized this was like a see-through table okay so that is not straight okay there we go oh. I can't even tell if that's straight either guys I don't even know if I can get this straight is that no it's not straight oh my gosh Okay, well, I don't know if I'm gonna get this straight. Maybe I should've just started off with like a regular one. Okay, okay, so we're gonna start all over again. If I don't do it this way, then I don't know how else I'm gonna get it to be straight. So I'm just gonna build one like a four by four. And then I gotta build the roof and the floor again. Okay, so we are back at where we started from. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to place it right there and then another one right here okay so i'm going to do this so that they kind of connect in a way and then i feel like i want to put another one down i don't know should i put another one down i feel like i shouldn't i think i'm just going to center these two in the middle so something like that i think that's how they did it <laughs> okay so now i am going to build a fence or i'm going to use like the fences and I see some people using this one and then I see other people using this one, but I think I'm gonna go for like the thin strip one today. 
so I'm going to do this. And then I guess this kind of acts like an outline. I have a feeling this is not going to be like even. Okay, so next, since we're on this floor, I want to know if they use this one. I'm kind of curious if they use that fence or this one. This one's a little bit thicker, which I kind of like to use in my builds. Obviously, it's not going to be like a bush on top of a roof. Actually, that would be kind of cool in a way. I don't know. Does that defeat the purpose of using the other fence on the bottom? We're just going to go with this, okay? <laughs> We're going to figure this out on ourselves. Okay, so for this one, I just want it to be white with a regular plastic. Obviously, this is not going to be plastic, but you know, I like the texture of this. So we're going to just make these all this one color. And then for the strip of this, we're going to do that. And then I want to know if they just do white. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the roof. And then we are going to do something differently. Do I want to add flooring or do I want to add an actual roof? That's the real question. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for a roof today. And I'm going to go for like the flat roof. Okay, so we're going to do manual and kind of just build this all the way around. Not, no, no, it's not what I meant to do. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to do the same for this. I'm gonna do the same for this side. Oh my gosh. Placing roofs is probably like one of the most annoying things ever when you can't get it in the spot where you want it to be. I did not watch a tutorial before this, so this is kind of how I guess they made it. I probably should have. We're gonna try to be creative right now and just try to figure this out on ourselves. Okay, so I think that's what they did. And then I'm going to color all the walls white. I don't know, I feel like white's just a clean color and it's just an easy basic color that you can do for any building, that's why I do it a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna do that and then I think for the roof, I want to do like a white roof but have like different, like a different outline, kind of like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? This does not, this totally does not match my house. Okay, so we are gonna go for doors. Should I go for the regular sliding door? Uh, no, I think I'm gonna go for these ones the tall glass doors because they're fancy okay so i'm gonna go for those and then also for the windows i'm going to do these long modern windows there we go we have our own diy greenhouse <gasps> oh so yeah that i guess that is how they build it then if you can see at the top um, you can't really see but you know that's how they build it i assume <laughs> or at least that's my way of building a sunroof So I finally finished building my greenhouse as you guys saw in the speed build but I want to show you guys and give you guys a little tour so this is what the outside looks like I kind of 
probably should have put a path leading up to that. I think I'll do it like after this video. But this is just basically what it looks like and I really love how it turned out. We have so much greenery. As you can see, I put a lot of plants in here that you don't actually have to water. I literally cannot keep the plants alive in Bloxburg for some reason. Like when I'm role playing or if I'm working, um, I always get that message in the little corner that says your plant is starting to wither. And I probably should invest in some sprinklers, but as you guys can see, I don't have a lot of like the block books money. But this is what the little sunroof looks like, skyroof, sunroof, however you call it. But that's what it looks like. It's super cute. I probably should have put those two bars together, but it's fine. Um, but if you guys are wondering how to make a sunroof, that is how you do it. Or you can always just watch other people's tutorials. I kind of just went with my instinct and built what I thought, how I thought people built it. And I guess that's kind of how they build it so but yeah this is all the plants and the greenery that I have in here a bunch of cactuses these flowers of course I'm going to have to water and I'm gonna to have to remember to water but yeah and then over here we have a cute little area over here with more greenery and stuff and I want to show you guys my porch okay so I was role playing yesterday with some friends and oh my gosh guys look these empty pots there used to be a bunch of <gasps> Oh my gosh, did I seriously kill these plants too? Wow guys, so I had two of the basic flowers here as well and it looks like I killed those. I killed the ones in the pots and then I had two apple trees over here and I found out that this morning that they disappeared, meaning they died on me. So um, I'm really bad at keeping plants alive. Honestly guys, I really should invest in a, spr in a sprinkler system can't talk today but yeah that is it for this video again I will be giving a tour of this house and yeah this is just what the front looks like I haven't finished like the yard and obviously like around it um, let me know in the comments what I should do in the side area if I should just add a bunch of trees or if I should build more mountains I feel like if I build more mountains it'll be cheaper because these trees back here are like super expensive so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.